I'm joined now by Molly Scott Cato, an MEP for the Green Party who wears both poppies and she's doing so this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Why do you choose to wear both? Well, I represent the whole of South West England, so there's a lot of military personnel there. Bases in Dorset and Royal Wooden Bassett is also in my patch and the, the Devonport Dockyard in Plymouth where I was yesterday. So I wear the red poppy to show my respect for them and the work they do keeping us safe and the sacrifices they make. But at this time of year when we're thinking about these issues of war and peace, I also wear the white poppy because that symbolises respect for everybody who died in wars, civilians as well. And it's also to remind us that we need to make as much effort and put as much investment into fighting for peace and maintaining peace and peacemaking as we do preparing for war and a good example of that is the global peace process against nuclear weapons that's going on at the UN at the moment it won the Nobel Peace Prize but there's very little conversation about it in this country so as we come around to the commemoration and the, and the respect for people who died in wars let's also put that extra push to fight against nuclear weapons that are such a threat to world peace did you ever get people coming up to you in your constituency which is a large area saying why on earth are you wearing that white thing it's very disrespectful respectful to my red poppy. I think some people do think there's a conflict between the two, but I think by wearing both, I show that actually you can remember the people who gave their lives and respect the armed services yes. and at the same time make that extra effort to fight but for peace and also seek out the causes of war, which I think is really important, but, whether it's global... But does that white poppy offend those who you're also representing right now in the military? I, I, I don't want to offend them myself, and that's why I wear both poppies. I, I, I think you can wear the white poppy and you can say, look, when we're having this time of year, when we think about the issues of war and peace, let's really focus on peace building. Let's really think about why the arms trade might encourage people to move towards war. Let's really think about investing in peace education in schools. Let's really think about peace building missions around the world. And as a country, let's work for peace, not just prepare for war. But I a lot of people who wear their red poppies with pride would say, those people fought for peace. So why doesn't the red poppy for you do enough to encapsulate the desire for peace? Well, I think that the, the white poppy is precisely to symbolise that. And therefore, when you see somebody wearing a white poppy, you ask them why they're wearing that. They can explain, just as we're doing today, why it's really important not just to, to have peacemaking activities, but also to seek out the causes of war. So, for example, if we have global inequality, if we don't tackle climate change, then we are actually sowing the seeds of future conflicts. And that's something that the white poppy symbolises. And it's use, a useful tool to bring out that debate.